Welcome back, guys. I'll be showing you how to take the brake disc or rotor off and how to prevent rust from making things difficult in the future. Procedure is the same in general for many vehicles. However, the bolt nut sizes and torque specs I mentioned are specific to Honda small and subcompact vehicles. It helps to lift both sides up so it's easier to turn the hub. These two bolts are 12 millimeter bolts that holds the caliper housing. If you can get it open, you might have to put a 19 millimeter socket here to hold the back nut, but this opened pretty fine. But when you do torque it back to spec, the torque specs for this is at 16 pound foot, you should hold the back because what can happen is when you tighten it, this rubber seal can twist. Now you don't want the caliper to hang on the brake hose, so I'm just gonna tie it up here with some electrical wire. Next, I'm going to remove the brake pads. Just remember which one goes on which side. This one is on the inner side. To remove the caliper bracket, we need to remove these two 17 millimeter bolts. These are torqued at 79.6 pound foot, so I will be using a breaker bar. Once removed, just pull this bracket out. Be careful not to lose these retainer clips that holds the brake pads in place. Now the only thing in the way are these brake disc screws. You can see here the head of the screws are damaged. Either it was over tightened or when it was taken off last, it was hard to get off due to rust. It won't open. I got an impact bit. This is a Phillips head PH3 size. So I'm going to hammer this in. I'm going to use a quarter inch socket. I should have probably done this with the brake still attached. The wheel hub will move. Yep, that's loose. Okay, I put the tire in front of the other tire so this should not move. I should have an impact screwdriver where I can hammer and turn at the same time. I don't have that, so I'm making do with what I got. Let's see if this works. No, it's not working. Oh, it worked, good. Now with all the hammering, the brake rotor has also come loose. If your rotor is stuck on due to rust, you can take two 8 by 1.25 millimeter bolts, screw them in on both sides, turn them clockwise, both bit by bit, and then this will pop out. To prevent things from sticking in the future due to rust, you can apply some copper anti-seize. I have some 3M copper anti-seize here. I'm going to apply the thinnest layer over here and on the brake rotor surface over here plus these impossible to get off screws i cleaned up whatever rust i could and applied a thin layer on the surfaces you don't want this anti-seize getting onto the disc surface or brake pads put some anti-seize on the screws also many people don't reuse these screws it's up to you once the caliper brake pads and wheel are back on the disc will stay in place the torque spec for these screws are at 7.2 pound foot, but because the heads are damaged, I am not going to torque it up to that much. I'm just going to snug it tight. I will be replacing these screws. That's it. Let me see if I can open it. Yeah. That's, that's good enough. Now all you have to do is put the caliper bracket back in, put the pads in, the caliper housing, 
and you're all set. I hope you find these videos useful. Please consider subscribing and liking, and please do comment what you would like to see in the future. As always, thanks for watching.